Hey, hell name here. Welcome to episode two of The Republic, a Crusader Kings 2 adventure. Oh, I do hope you enjoyed last episode because I had a lot of fun making that one. As you might have noticed, I am taking a more relaxed and calm approach to these Crusader Kings episodes. They are a bit mellow, relaxed, laid back. So, me talking all hyperactively over the game, it might detract from the overall game experience. So for the next 30 minutes, I hope you enjoy this, well, how should I say, trip? Yeah, this trip. Oh, I hope you didn't hear that, sorry, just hooking up my phone. Um into Crusader Kings 2 and my timer is messing around right now but it'll be fine in the end I think right last we left off we built a magnificent tower we went on a trade expedition everything went swimmingly okay we did have to borrow a few gold pieces from the Jews but well they offered it and they could probably spare it we also had a few Jews enter our counties, uh, our court, I should say, and that was actually quite good, They're quite helpful, so kudos to them, thanks. Great people. Right, well then, let's see if we can expand our trade over more trade posts. Um, oh, one more note before we start. A basic explanation for the game and a build-up to this season technically of um, Crusader Kings 2 is in the prologue season 1 on my channel um, be sure to give that a view if you want to know how all the game mechanics work or at least most of the game mechanics work and um, I'm not gonna explain so much about mechanics I'm just gonna play the game and enjoy so let's carry on there we go right so the thing we want oh is give someone an education my half brother um you need to be taught stewardship because stewardship is the most important thing in my republic oh yeah we became midas touched right so, running at two times speed makes me not miss stuff. Because a lot of stuff happens in a Republic that you don't want to miss. Like money coming in, for instance, which is very important. Also, this trade post is doing quite well. And no, wrong button. Alright, so we need about 118.2 to upgrade this to the Enclave. Also, we're looking to up our trade port limit. Now, there are a few ways to do that. One of them is by upping the trade practices. But, that'll up the limit for everyone else as well. As you can see, we're all about equal. And I don't have a lot of money to build the trade por ports immediately. So I'm taking it slow and easy, and I'm not upgrading it that way. The other way is making more babies. Well, my wife is 51, so she's not popping out any kids anytime soon. And she's been nice and has a hefty stewardship. So I'm not going to try to divorce her. Then the last option remains our holding. Oh, I'm going to read that. Just don't, don't read. <laughs> uh, the last one, yeah, is going to be this one, the mansion. But it needs a lot of money and a lot of work. So, problems. You'll see what happens soon. Right. <clears throat> a money each. I write to you with bad news from Desi. Oh, poop. Um, my efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. 
I fear we might have a revolt on our hands. Oh, damn. Desi gets high taxes until the 5th of October for a whole year. Oh, great. Local revolt risk, plus 5%. Minus one and a half, so the total is 3.5. I think, considering we don't use you to do a lot of troops, I think we're gonna send our marshal to suppress the revolts. There we go. Just wait till it ticks. Uh, it might not show here. I don't know. You should be local revolt risk minus 9%. So I don't know why you're still displaying 3.5, but my marshal is here keeping the peace. Oh, look! Just like that, we're already up to 60 gold. Hmm. We also need some more troops, though, because my military is puny. It's like 622. And a few from vassals, but... Uh. Let's see. You are not paying me taxes? And you are not paying me taxes. Well, you I can do something about. My brother. Hmm. Oh, yes, of course, you own this country, right? Can I kill my nephew? No, I can't. There is a lot of commotion at the docks of Desi. Apparently, the captain of one of your family's trade galleys rammed his ship into the pier while intoxicated. He was lynched by a furious crowd, but the other patrician families are holding you responsible for the damage to the dock facilities. That drunken fool. He cost me 50 gold. Ouch. Mm, there you have it. And now it's gone. I am thinking about investing just a little bit into the campaign fund for my son. Because... He's not going to inherit the title, and I am pushing the age of 50. Hmm. Let's see. 30. Uh, puts us fourth. Jeez. <coughs> At age 35, Matasuntha Ursingi died of poor health. My daughter-in-law, oh my son, the heir, is currently unmarried. Now let's find you a young wife, so you can make more babies. Let's get to our Facebook. Oh no, I did it again. Oh, I did it again. I should have clicked load. Oh, idiot. Alright. Well. Search for women. Who are not in prison. Who are not married. Can be a ruler. In diplomatic range, please. My religion. I don't care about culture. You have to be an adult. Save it. Good. Now let's see. Are the geniuses? Yes, but they are old. I like the quick trait. They're also old. Lover's box. Maybe strong. 23, huh? In hiding. Why are you in hiding? The heir to the Duchy of Auvergne. Will you marry no one? Huh. Alright, I guess not. 
Wait. Let's just find someone with high stewardship. Ooh, and she's attractive. Will you marry my son? Yes, you will. It requires a bright price of one gold coin. Oh yeah, that's a mechanic that hasn't passed this let's play yet. Bright price. If you are a burger, um, not the hamburger type, but the civilian type, then you need to pay a bridal price and depending on the family it could be one or hundreds for marrying your common son to a noble wife. Now this one is fine, it's just one, so please marry my son. You're 21 of age and attractive, should be fine. Uh, and temperate. Honest is okay, rough is meh. Uh, ambitious, sure, but you're Midas touch, that's the important thing. Alright, let's carry on. And they are married, which is good, thank you. Welcome to my court. Ah, she's German. Oh, look at the French Empire. It's slowly succumbing to a revolt. Also, Asturias is holding on for quite a long time. Wow. You are defending against a Lollard uprising, eh? It's 1.9k troops. You have 1.16. That's gonna be fun. Someone owes me a favor. You owe me a favor. But you're not on the council anymore. Hmm. No, I don't want you to die. I maybe want my brother to die. But I don't have enough plot power. My council likes me. My laws are mostly in order, right? I can't change him anyways. Bishop Reinald of Lanelwy has declared Lanelwy war for Sanant's claim on Ermi. Oh damn. You want Mewmi. You. Seriously. Alright. Let's get my troops together then. My brother, Chief Earleth, has asked me to spend some quality family time in Tony Tribe. I'm sure the idea is for me to become better friends with Dunling Eoknach Wraithland. Sounds nice. We had a great time together. I feel we have really strengthened our family bonds. We should do that again sometime, my son. And heir. Alright. Let's see. No oh wait. Um my troops. It's you I'm fighting, right? Where are you? No, it's not. It's you I'm fighting. Really? I need to go to the bishop, Rick. Alright. No. 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 And let's see. We have 429 of light and pikemen. Uh, we have some people over here. Where's the archers? And some light infantry. And over here as well, with some cavalry to chase them down. Alright, so you are a cavalry leader. So I'm gonna stick you there. I am gonna lead. Sure, why not? 
and the Bishop of Duncizil. Yeah, sure. Let's take the Bishop to fight the Bishop. Here we go. Now it should be fine because you only have 300 troops and nobody else is joining this war so far. So I'm gonna... Ah. While I'm having this war, a wealthy local noble is looking to escape the cons consequences of several indiscretions on his part against a female member of the Ua Conchober family. He has offered to pay handsomely for passage on one of your ships to a foreign port, where he can hopefully lay low for a few years. Of course, make the holy, make the arrangements, thank you for the monies. I'm gonna keep that in reserve for now. So, Mr. Bishop, you want my lands, huh? Well, what do you actually want? Ermi, you want Ermi, this county. Right. Oh, attrition, eh? Because I'm out of supplies. Well then... <clears throat> Your Marshal Robert Capet has come to you with a suggestion. My Lord! What's my vassal? Uh, it is my opinion that Patrician Murchu of Ua Conchubar, the lawgiver, would make an excellent military commander. I suggest we make use of his talents for the good of the realm. So, you want to become my Marshal? Ooh. Yeah. Do I have better ones? I have one better one, but you're the commander, so... Sure! Very well! Marshal! Right? As the day drags on, seemingly never-ending, you can barely keep your eyes open. You seem to have no energy at all. Alas, I gained fatigue. That's not good. Eognon states that his extensive medical experience... Wow. ...leads him to the certain conclusion that you have the flu. He insists that you follow his instructions. Very well. Oh, man. Eognan insisted that the foul smells of civilization made you sick and ordered you to take daily walks in the wilderness. I am glad I hired him. Grand Mayor Selbach gets decent symptom treatment. Nice. So that's good. One moment you are shivering, the next you are sweating, and overall you feel awful. Alas, I gain a fever. Starts to feel like the flu. Victory! We have brought down the bishopric. Now you silly man, you... Who are you, by the way? You do not have a claim on my... You silly bishop. Give up your belongings. Give me 72 gold pieces in reparations for keeping these troops up. And... Be gone! The Lanel we wore for Sanant's claim of Ermi has ended. Grant me a Selbach of Mumi won. Marvelous. Let's get back. You can disband troops here, but probably only half of them will make it home. My liege, my mission to Desi has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Bishop Fergus of Cluane, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent, benevolent words, and pious ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Oh, with him. Ah, that's good. Good. Now, I 
think I can send you... Oh no, that was the one who wasn't paying me. Wonderful. You improve the relations with him. You study tech here. And you improve religious relations with the Pope. Because I like the Pope. So the army is on the way back. And we have an important decision. Recruit a court physician? Wait a minute. I have a court physician. Okay, so what's the important? Seek treatment. Yeah. Oi! Physician! Thank you. Yeah, I have the flu. I get that. Very well. Sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch at your stomach. I have abdominal pain. Oh man, this is not good. Ooh. To invigorate you, Eogain. Eogi. Recommended that you consume what made you strong in the first place and thus provides you with jugs of human breast milk. Really? Well, it worked. I feel healthy as an ox. And my troops are home. Goodbye. Now look at that money. We're sitting on 328 gold pieces worth of money. So let's see if we can start upgrading our mansion. It gives us some levy. Gives up some tax. And it's overall good. There's a new important... Oh, we can seek another treatment. Court physician, treat me. I have abdominal pains. I still have the flu. Yes, I get that. You are confined to your bed. Your body racked with aches and chills. You have contracted the flu. Alas! Uh, Eogan insisted that the foul smells of civilization made you sick again and ordered you to take daily walks. Thank you. Your court physician has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. I, my life is in your hands. As long as you know what you're doing and these treatments sound scary. Well, you are a good court physician, renowned, so my life is in your hands. Please, oh wait, let's see if we can up this just a little bit more. Ah, oh, almost! Should have thought of that before I... Ah oh, well. My life is in your hands, treat me well. Eoganon handed you a plate with a grey powdery substance on it. Apparently, it consisted of ground up scabs from a person in a worse state than you. Ugh! Oh, gross! Medieval medicine was horrible! Eogi showed no indication of joking as he told you to lean in and inhale as much as you could through your nose. Oh, oh I feel amazing! <laughs> oh my god! Successful experimental treatment! I got martial intrigue diplomacy, stewardship learning, and plus three health. Oh my god! Sniffing scabs of the disease. <laughs> I hope this flu plot passes quickly. Oh. Oh, you're almost there. Oh man. You are oh, finally. You have recovered well from the flu. Now the coughing, fever and headache are just an unpleasant memories. I feel better. I did it. Oh. Now that's an addition from the Reapers Do DLC. 
Phew! Oh man, I should pay that court physician through the nose. That was a brilliant plan. It was horrible, but brilliant. How are you? Are you making babies yet? Are you pregnant? No, you are not. Alright. Almost. No matter how hard I try, I cannot think of anything that rhymes with orange. I must have lost my muse. My inspiration is absolutely gone. Oh, woe is me. What shall I do? find the new muse my inspiration is gone possibly forever <gasps> I just have to work harder hmm that's not so bad sure I deserve good things and I will work to get them I've gained the ambitious trait <sighs> That was a good development. Nice. I think I already had ambitious, but nah. it's all good. Oh, if you um, um, experience some stutter, I'm currently running a server on my computer for a few friends, so it's not running optimally. Well, well, well. Come on, just a little more. Ah, so close. Oh, you upped your campaign fund to 1050. That's not fair. Thousands. Wow. They're really putting some money into it. Oh, wait. The respect value was 1050, so they put 210 into it. Have more money? Yes, you do. I'm almost there, though. It's hard to feel proud when one has nothing to be proud of. Why should I be proud of myself? Oh. Oh well. I don't need the prestige anyway. So close, no matter how far. Couldn't be much more from the heart. As you are working, court physician Aogi bursts into your study. My Grand Mayor, you have been up all night again. It would be in your best interest to not work so hard. Lest you shall collapse from exhaustion. Perhaps you are right. I will heed your advice. Well, he was very good to me before. But I do get taken it easy for 30 years. Damn. I'm not gonna live for 30 years. Or the realm never rests. So neither, neither shall I. Yeah. I tried for another trait, but it's good. Ah! Nope. Then me. Aww, my daughter died. On the orders of Bishop Kunwolf? Really? Wait, wait, who ordered my- you! No, I'm angry. You killed my daughter. Oh, I need to fight the petty king of Mercia to get to you. You dirt- It's a good thing you're old and die. I hope you die horribly. Breathe in pain. It's vengeance for killing my daughter. My beautiful Ben Mead. 
No. <sighs> On that sad note, I think I shall call it quits for this episode. We survived the flu. We built our mansion. Well, we're still building it. And sadly, we survived our daughter. I hope to see you again next time. To see how this journey and adventure unfolds. And I hope you enjoyed the journey so far. See you next time. Bye.